Jugadores Dondeado. Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Clates. This is Clates FM. And today we've got the first in what I'm hoping is going to be a bit of a series of videos called Player Profiles. I have found a player. He is available for less than £2 million. He only has one attribute that is less than 10. And I've called him El Guerrero or The Warrior. I'm hoping that that translates properly. Here is that man then, the warrior. His name is Manuel Ugarte, and he plays in Uruguay. He's a young 19-year-old Uruguayan player. He's been on FM for a few years now, but this year, and I think this year especially, I think he's going to turn out to be a really good player. And I wanted to bring you knowledge of him because I think he's pretty easy to go and get for your saves. Here he is at the start in this particular save game, and you see by his attributes here... He's very well-rounded already for a 19-year-old. You're looking at the likes of he's got 15 teamwork, 13 work rate, 14 balance. He's a defensive midfielder, a deep line playmaker, I'd probably say. Although he can do pretty much any of those roles as a deep midfielder. You could probably even play him in this slightly more central midfield spot if you wanted to as well. Just have a look at him there. I think at 19 years old and only going to improve... He looks fantastic, and then the best part about it is he's in his final year of his contract here in Uruguay at a club called Phoenix or Phoenix, and that makes him very acquirable for most teams. What I'm showing you in the background here is me purchasing Manuel Ugarte for £1.7 million and a little bit of percentage of next sale too for PSV Eindhoven. I kind of chose a team that I knew was going to have a little bit of well, enough money to sign him, but not one of the biggest teams. So that actually a lot of saves that you might have chosen to do for your FM21 beta save. I think this guy is a player that you could purchase. And you see here, £7,000 per week is a pretty affordable wage for him as well. Obviously, if you're playing as a team that has a bit more money, he may ask, well, his agent may ask for a little bit more money than that, but he's definitely affordable. Just £1.7 million up front and then less than 10k in wages. You can get him in very quickly and he's really, really interested in moving abroad because as I did say, he's in his last year of his contract in Uruguay and he doesn't want to sign a new one. Here is Manuel Ugarte then, one season in at PSV. You can see by some of his attributes that he has been improving his off the ball and his vision are currently on the way up as well. You see he's valued at 11.75 million after one season and signing for 1.7 million. So even if you sign him to sell him for a bit of a profit, there's a little bit of evidence that you can do that. And also if he's playing in a league that has a higher reputation than Holland, then that value will actually be even higher. So there's that to bear in mind as well. If we have a look at his contributions over the course of a year, you can see he played 31 games this season, scored five goals from deep line playmaker in the CDM spot, five assists, five player of the matches and an average of 7.32. I think you'll find that is very solid. For a player that you can sign for 1.7 million pounds, I don't think you can argue that, especially when you actually look at some of the other contributions that he's had over the year. A few more stats just to look at here. You're looking at this PSV team. He had the most passes in the whole team playing as that playmaker. If I show you the tactic, it looked like this. You see he was pretty central to everything. He picked up some really good relationships with the other two midfielders next to him. Deep line playmaker on support just sat in behind a two. Obviously he could play in different systems, but in this one here, with the ball being fed to him, he became probably one of PSV's best players after one season. Probably about halfway through the season he was already at that sort of point. I mean, 1.7 million for a player that has these attributes and is this well-rounded and with so much growth there to be had, I think you can't go wrong. I have also actually holidayed forward five years and 10 years from the start. So I guess we'll go across to that and have a look how he got on in those five years and then 10 years. Here he is five years in the future. In this save game, he becomes a bit of a beast. He's valued at 35.5 million pounds. He looks, I mean, he looks really good, especially for this role. Look at the attributes in the right places. He looks good. 15 balance, 14 first touch. I don't think this is the best he can become, but still it's very solid playing in the Premier League. In this save game, he did go to Dinamo Zagreb for £1.7 million. That does seem to be the amount that it takes to get him. He then moved to Everton for 10.75. Not necessarily a regular, 
But if again, if you buy him early and play him and play him and play him, he's going to become even better than this. Let's check him out after 10 years. So 10 years in, at 29 years old now, he's now on £105,000 per week, valued at £45.5 He is a regular now in this Everton team and a fantastic player he does become. He's definitely improved. I'd probably say he's just about in his prime now. He is 29, but... It doesn't seem to be slowing down too much at this age. And as you see by this here, he does become pretty much a regular in this Everton team. One season, he got six assists, four assists in a few seasons. Again, I'll repeat it. He would probably be even better if he was playing for a team that wasn't managed by the AI. But even without that, he becomes really, really good. It's Manuel Ugarte. Go and buy him for £1.7 million and enjoy a very, very well-rounded player. And that's where we're going to leave today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. We're going to call it a player profile. And I'll be back with a few of these. I've got a few players that I've got in mind. If you've got any players that you think I should make a video like this about, get them down in the comments. I will check them out. And any ones that I like, I will, uh, I'll, I'll make a video on it. Because I think this is quite an interesting, different way of playing football manager. I know when you're like scouting and looking for players, sometimes you just need that little spark. I don't know why I did a click. That little spark of inspiration. Hopefully this is it. If you're looking for a deep line playmaker, Manuel Ugarte could very well be your man. Al Guerrero. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, we will end it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn the bell on for notifications too. Leave me the comments as I just said below. Get me some recommendations. And also, would you sign Manuel Ugarte? Do you rate him? Do you think he looks pretty good? Let me know also in the comments and also give the video a like. The more likes, the better. Before you do go, a reminder, I do live stream over on Twitch on a Wednesday, a Friday, and a Sunday. It's 7 p.m. on Wednesday, 7 p.m. on a Friday, 12 midday on a Sunday. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.